Hey crafters, welcome to the DM's Craft. I'm DM Scotty, as you know. Uh, today we're going to have a fun little uh, craft. Yeah, this is a rather long video, but um, there are a lot of steps involved. They're not hard steps, it's, they're just a lot of steps. Uh, partly is because you need to think about the construction uh, as far as uh, the order. Um, because it, when, you, when you put something together, you, it, you don't want to make it impossible to paint. So it has to do with that kind of thing. But what we're going to do today, we're going to do fountains. Uh, a great dungeon feature. Uh, you know, it can be a little respite for your uh, adventurers as they uh, uh, get beat up uh, through the dungeon. They can have a rest and maybe some magical effect or some healing uh, drought. Or it could be something worse. Uh, a uh, cursed fountain or something like that. But a lot of dungeons, a lot of dungeons have fountains, and today I'm going to show you this cool dungeon feature. Um, like I say, it's a little, e it's a little. There's some step, quite a few steps to it, but it's it's still very easy to construct and very cheap. So uh, let's go to the table and we'll start crafting that fountain. Here I have some aspects of my project. This is going to be the base of the fountain, uh, the top of the fountain, and then this is going to be uh, hold the, the uh, top part of the fountain up, and then I'm going to use some uh, thin cardboard for edging. Uh, this is a quarter inch thick. So right now I want the I don't want the the cardboard to be square, but I've cut it in a uh, this is four inches and this is two inches. So what I've got is I've got corners marked off here. So I just measured an inch this way and an inch this way. So now I'll cut those off. Okay, so now that'll sit on top of that. Uh, and then I'll have uh, this, I did this just like I did the um, pillars. These are just inch, I measured four inches, and these are inch an inch skew, uh, cube. And then I've got this little flap here so I can connect it. So I'll uh, glue that together. And we'll move on to that step. So here's my uh, fountain. I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to create the uh, pedestal. So I'll gonna move that out of the way, and I've got my small glue gun. So I will uh, put some glue on the flap there, and then okay. So now I've got my little pedestal part there. So I'll put this on top. So I'm going to do is uh, turn it over. And then I'll put some glue in the top here. Or into the edge then actually on the top. But get a little bit on the top. Okay. Now I'll just kind of eyeball that for the center. Get center there. All right, so we got it centered. So now I can just, I'll just put it like that. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some edging on. So I will grab my piece of uh, cardboard. This is thin cardboard. This is regular thickness and this is thin. So what I need to do is start measuring around. So I'll just put it up measure and cut and then I'm just going to glue it on a little easier with this uh, detail work with a smaller glue gun there so now I'll just continue around so we'll do this now you can see that these edges are uh, cornered. So what I do is, I generally don't measure it, I just cut out the piece like this and then I just guesstimate like this. So, put that like that. Okay. 
dab there. Okay. So then you just keep going around. So now we've got our bottom part done here. Um, I'm gonna do the top part. So I'll grab this. And I'm gonna do a little different. I don't wanna enclose it um, like I did with the, uh, the bottom part. I want uh, areas where the water can flow down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure uh, the small area. So you can see here that I didn't um, totally enclose the top like I did the bottom. So this piece will sit here, it'll be the center of the fountain, and um, I've got the bottom totally enclosed. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to go um, paint this uh, black and then I'm going to um, paint it with the texture paint and then I'll come back and do um, the other details. So, um, we'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and do that. You could also do um, a little piece around the edge here. I'm not going to do that for the fountain, but if you could, if you wanted to. So I'll go ahead and do the texture paint, and then we'll come back and uh, carry on from there. Here are my two base pieces uh, 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 textured. So I've got my pool, the bottom part pool, and the upper uh, tier of the fountain. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some texture on them with the glue gun, the small glue gun. So I'm going to grab my glue gun, take this piece off, and I want to do some texture, uh, just like kind of the water. So just very gently. It's probably a little hard to see but I don't want to get too close to the center. Okay, so I've got a little bit of texture on there, see if you can see that. Not too much, just a little bit. So I'm also going to do some texture on this top part, but in the top part, um, what I'm going to do, my plans are to have a statue in the center and then the water is going to be kind of gushing out. So what I'm going to do is kind of go pull it, pull the, the glue gun to the, to the edges here, like the water is coming out down this spout. And then the same here, and then all four sides. That'll give some, uh, it'll give it to look like the water is moving uh, down the, uh, the spouts. And there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do some text, do some uh, detail painting on the pieces here, like the uh, highlights and stuff. And then I'm going to paint the water um, like a light blue. I want it to be kind of look like a magical fountain, so I'm going to go for a lighter blue. And I'll come back and show you that. To start, I'm going to use a very light blue. I'm going to water it down a bit. Um, start putting it in there. I want it to be look magical, so that's why I'm I'm using the lighter blue. Plus, it's it's um, kind of a, a bit on the stone there. It's kind of a magical fountain, so I want it to be um, look like that kind of thing. So you can start to see some of the detail that it's coming out with the um, water I put in there, as far as the ripples in the water. So now I've got that in there, I'm going to use a smaller brush and do some of the ripples um, on the edge there. And it's not too much of a difference because the, uh, 
the color is already very light to start with. But you can see there is some difference. All right, so that's good. So now I will do the, I'm gonna do the top piece, move that out of the way. So I've got my top piece and I'll put the blue in there. You can see that really looks like it's pouring out there. It's got some texture. So now put some white on there. All right, looking good. I'll let that sit and dry. Gonna finish this up with some light gray edging. So I'll get my uh, light gray and then I'm just gonna kinda go around the edge there. Now another thing I wanna do uh, to uh, give this water some interest is I'm going to use some um, pearlescent which is not really a color it's just kind of a um, an effect so I'm going to use my larger brush and get uh, that ready and I'm going to grab some and it looks kind of like white but it's really not it's it's more like a, a sheen and I kind of hit the water with that I want this to kind of be a magical pool so I want to give it that look and this will this will really help. I'm not going to totally douse it with it. I'm just going to kind of brush it on a little bit. So not totally cover it up, but get it on there. Okay, so there we go. You can see it gives it a little bit of a sheen. Um, now I'm going to move on to the next step. Now you can see I have a problem here with my fountain. The water is going over the edge of this uh, lip, but there's no water coming down into the fountain. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm going to use some pieces of cardstock and I've marked them out. So they will go to the edge like this and I'll glue them to each edge. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take my glue gun and I'm gonna do some texture on those. So I'm just gonna kinda do back and forth like a water fall kind of thing. on each piece. Now I'm gonna kinda slant it in a little bit so I'm not gonna do the whole the whole piece and you'll see what I mean when I cut these out. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and paint these next though before I cut them so I'll just uh, I'll do that now. So my hot glow is dried enough to uh, do the next part so I'm gonna get the uh, get my brush i uh, grab the same blue that I used for the fountain, very light blue, and I'll do the back side first. And I didn't really put any texture on the back side because you're not really going to see it. Um, I will put a little bit of white though. There we go. That. Okay, now I'll do the other side. And I could spray this, but I'm not gonna bother. Make sure I'm not losing too much from my back. Yeah, I did. All right. So now I'll get the uh, white on there. Get quite a bit of white on there. And then I'll do the back. Again, it's white. Okay, so I'm gonna let this uh, sit and dry and then we'll move on to the next step. All 
Now that's dried up, I'm gonna put a little pearlescent on there. So I'll grab some of my brush, just kind of hit it. I'm not trying to kill it too much. I'm just putting some on to give some uh, pearlescence on there. I'll do the back too. Although you're not really gonna see much of the back. All right, so I'll let that dry and then move on to the next step. Now, since the back of my piece is gonna be so hard to reach when I uh, assemble this, I'm gonna turn it over and put some water-based varnish on that. So I'm just gonna put it on the one side. And I will let that dry. I'm also going to go ahead and put it in my pool. Now what I'll probably do is I'll probably end up doing two coats of this because usually I find that one coat just isn't quite enough. to give it that maximum water or gloss look. All right, so I'll let those two dry and then we'll come back and assemble this. Now I'm gonna prepare the cascading water for the fountain. So this is the strip I did for the uh, water falling off the uh, top of the fountain. So I, I did the back, I put the gloss on the back, and now what I'm gonna do is cut this out. Now I, I've obscured the lines with my painting, but I can see where I ended with my uh, texture, so I'll just cut there. Now, the, you know, when water cascades down, it doesn't necessarily go straight, it kind of uh, channels inward. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut kind of like a, triangular shape. So this will be the top and it'll it'll kind of go down to the bottom like that. And I'll do that for all these. Okay, so now I've got those done. Now I will move on to my uh, next step. got the top of my fountain and I've got the uh, water flow that's going to come down. So what I'll do is I'm going to uh, glue the edge at one of the uh, spout areas. And then what I'm going to do is stand it up and attach it like this. And the reason I'm, I'm putting this down like this and doing it this way is I want to make sure that this is the same the water flow is the same height as the top of the fountain, and that's an easy way to do it. So now I'll just go around and do all of those. All right, now, so now I've got all the water flows on, and that's kind of what we're looking at there. So what I want to do is kind of hide this transition between the top and the bottom. So now I'll move on to that next. Now I'm gonna hide the transition between the top here and the water flow going down. So what I'll do is I'll just grab my glue gun and I'm just gonna kinda put some glue on it and then just pull. So we're just helping mask that piece. And I'll just go all the way around and do the same thing. All right, we'll let that dry for a sec and then I'll grab my paint and we'll uh, finish that up. So same as before, I'm gonna grab my blue that I used for the fountain, water down a bit, and then uh, put it on 
the edge of the edge there. That's masking in there pretty good. All right, so looking nice there. We'll let that dry up and then we'll move on to the next step. I have my pool here and what I want to do is attach the top to this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just glue the base part here. So I'm just going to glue this part. If you try to do this, it's just going to take so long and um, you could just, uh, the glue could harden. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it on this center part. So I'm going to put it on the edge and let it kind of fall into the center. Okay, so now I want to, just going to eyeball it. That looks pretty good. You can always scoot it around a little bit. But looks like I got a good... So look how, look how nice that looks already. It really looks cool. Uh, just take a few seconds for that glue to dry. So I didn't glue these waterfall parts. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back and glue those. But what I'm going to do is, i me give you a good shot there, I am going to put it in front here and kind of go along the edge and then pull up and then kind of make a little bit of disturbance like it's, you know, the water is hitting the other, wa the other water there. and making some disturbance in the water. And I'll just do that for each one. Adds a nice little texture. Now you may be wondering why I painted the base and you know the backs of the water. Well, I just think if you did this all at once, how hard that would be to uh, get all this uh, color in, in behind the waterfall and all that stuff. So it just seems easier to do it this way. So I'll let that dry for a second and then we'll move on to our paint phase. So I've given it a few seconds to dry and I'm going to hit that uh, uh, bottom there with some light blue, some watered down blue. So there we get it some. And I'll do each one the same way. So look at that nice effect we're getting even without the gloss going yet. It's a little glossy because of the paint being wet. get the idea. All right, now we'll let that dry up and then we'll move on to, to the uh, uh, last couple stages. My uh, last painting stage is going to be add some more pearlescent to this because uh, it's partly because it's a magic fountain and I want it to look um, uh, shimmery. Um, also, it gives the water a nice glisten quality. This is a step you wouldn't have to do. So I'll kind of hit that. All right, so that looks really nice. What we'll do now is we'll let that dry and then we'll do the final step of uh, adding the, uh, the uh, uh, gloss to it. Now all I need to do to finish up is to give this uh, some gloss. Uh, you can see I didn't do the top uh, when I did it because I knew I had to do the gloss um, later uh, because I had to blend these edges. So there was no point in doing the gloss when I did it. So now I'll start putting the gloss on. I'm going to use a uh, smaller brush than I did when I initially did it.
Get a nice good coat on there. And then I want to heat hit each uh, water part. Make sure I get nice blend in there with the other gloss. Got that. So now all I have left to do is just let this dry. And then we'll come back and uh, show you look what it looks like near some miniatures. Here's our fountain in comparison to uh, a couple figures. Uh, it came out really nice. Uh, looks really cool. Uh, I added a, a little statue on the top. You could either glue this on or uh, leave it. Uh, nothing on it. So then you could just add whatever statue you wanted for whatever situation uh, you had or a symbol or a statue or anything like that. Now keep in mind that uh, this kind of technique can be used for anything. So you could do like a blood fountain or uh, with something with poison or oil or you know anything like that. You just substitute the water uh, for whatever other substance you want. Uh, you could also make more tears uh, another thing you could do, if you didn't want to get this fancy, you could just make the base part and then the fountain part and just glue it directly to the base and then just have the water. Don't make these little pieces, just have the water coming over the edge. More of a 2D, uh, 2.5D effect as opposed to the more 3D type thing. If you, didn't want to, if you didn't need it or didn't want to put that much work. You could make them larger or smaller. Uh, so there's all kinds of things you can do with this, but this would be the basic technique. You could just take it and run with it. Uh, whatever you whatever you need, uh, whatever substance you need, whatever design, uh, just very easy to do. So there we go, and uh, welcome. Uh, thanks for joining me on the DM's Craft, and I will see you next time.